Hello guys, today I will show you how to make cassava flour. First of all, we will need a nice big cassava roux like this one. We start by scrubbing the roux with your hands to remove any dirt or loose parts you may have. Now, with all the waste out of the way, we can begin to peel the skin. Afterwards, we cut it into pieces. As you can see here, at the beginning I was using a pretty small and standard knife. Nothing really special. But I realized it wasn't really working, so I decided to change it and use a bigger and sharper knife. Now, it was way easier, but there were some sections that were super difficult to cut, like this one. Soon afterwards, I just realized that they were not worth it, because they were just made of filaments and those things never turn into powder. So if you find them, just set them aside and throw them away. After we have cut all the sections, we'll begin to chop them into smaller pieces. When we finish, we put them into a food processor or blender along with a glass of water. Now we only have to mix them until we obtain a uniform mixture. When the mixture is ready, we are going to pour it into the strainer and eliminate the excess of water. To accelerate this process, you can also use a spoon to put pressure on it. In the remaining water, you will find out that there's a lot of dough that was left. Those are the finest particles that couldn't be contained by the strainer. So just pass the spoon through the recipient and recover them. Now we put all the dough into a fabric and squeeze it until literally no more water is coming down from it. We'll end up with a nice and compacted dough like this one. Now we only have to grind it which is not much of an issue since it'll be super soft by this point. Right now, we still won't have this flour-like consistency that we want, and that's because we still have a lot of lumps. So, if we want to get rid of them, we can use two methods. In the first method, we are going to use a blender. Just make sure the appliance is totally dry, because if it's not, the powder may stick to the walls, and that may create lumps one more time. At the end of the process, it'll end up with a nice and fine powder like this one. Basically, it'll be a any flour you may find in the supermarket. In the second method, we are going to use a strainer. In this case, we only need to put all the flour into the strainer and start shaking it. And if you have any lumps, just put a little pressure on them and they will turn into powder as well. The result would be just as good as if you had used the blender. Now we do this little movement to spread the powder evenly. Then we're going to take it to the sun to let it dry. Now if the sun is not a thing in your country or if it's winter, then you can use an oven. Just set it up at 175 Fahrenheit and let it dry for 2 hours. At the end, you will end up with a nice and fine flour that you can use in any of your recipes.